We are back with Chris Hardy, the president of the Albany Area Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for being here this morning. Always a pleasure. Star Business of the yeah. Week. Who had the honor? Well, yesterday we uh, recognized Walker Heating and Air. It's a uh, small family-owned business over off of East Broad Street on the other side of town. Uh, you know, had a good time. They uh, showcased some uh, some local mascots, if you will. I had a little puppy there. It's cute. <laughs> got it. Uh, got the puppy in the picture with us. Aww. So, you know, they were very, very appreciative. Uh, you know, the advertising that you know we provide along with the Star Business of the Week. You know, it's it's extremely valuable to small businesses like theirs, mm -hmm. uh, and, and they were extremely excited. I bet so. Yeah. For people who have haven't joined us before for our chamber chat on Tuesdays. Can you explain what Star Business of the Week is? Yeah, it's uh, you know it's just basically a program that the chamber has been doing for quite some time now. Before even before I got here, and it's just a a, a, a Monday a program we do every single Monday. Uh, the previous Thursday or Friday. Uh, our membership director, Mary Bickerstaff, will randomly select a, uh, a member uh, to, to choose Small Business of the Week. The only criteria is uh, that we have is that they must be a member in good standing uh, and that they have to be a member of the chamber for at least three years. And that, that, that's pretty much it. You know, we, we do it random because that's really only the fair way we, the, you know, we can do it. Right. Uh, if there's any, uh, you know, particular selection process, then it, you know, then it could be perceived as biased sure. for whatever reason. Uh, so random is the fairest way we could do it, but it gives us an opportunity to, uh, you know, to, to get to all sides of the membership right. on the, all sides of the town, all sides of the county. Uh, so, but yeah, it's, um, it's a pretty simple program, but, you know, one where, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're happy to be able to provide because it just gives the small businesses who don't have that marketing budget mm -hmm. to, to do advertising, whether it be by radio, news, or, or TV. Mm -hmm. some, some do, some don't, um, but it just gives them uh, additional, uh, you know, promotion and advertising uh, opportunities. That's great. Well, what about the legislative agenda? We've been hearing this legislative term thrown yeah. out everywhere yeah. because, you know, they're over there in Atlanta yep. meeting. What are you all doing for well, that? Well, yesterday was the, uh, the start of the general session. Uh, every year we do a, a, a legislative agenda uh, each, each year. And what basically what we do is, is we, we gather a group of business leaders to determine what are the, the key issues. Then we take that, uh, that information and survey it out to our membership. Uh, in December, our board of directors uh, passed and finalized our legislative agenda for 2014. Uh, some of the important issues are going to be, uh, you know, we always need to advocate on behalf of the Marine Corps logistics space. Mm -hmm. uh, that's always a given. There's always going to be a need there, especially in, you know, economic times and when the country's downsizing our military. Uh, this year, what we're going to be doing is advocating for the uh, Georgia National Air Guard uh, to consider a particular portion of the National Guard to relocate to the Marine Corps logistics base. Oh, wow. um, that's something that we feel would be a uh, 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 an extremely port important part of not just our community but the base uh, in, in the services that they provide. The, the, uh, they came in to Rotary a couple weeks ago and did a presentation and one thing that I realized that I had not before that, that uh, presentation was there's a lot of uh, uh, services that the Air National Guard provides that we desperately need here in Albany. Uh, regardless of what it is, there's a broad spectrum but uh, you know it's a good fit. Uh, we're also going to be advocating on behalf of uh, Albany State University and their Performing and Fine Arts Center uh, that we've had on our agenda last mm -hmm. year. Uh, we're also going to be advocating on behalf of the uh, Albany Technical Colleges. Uh, they are Carlton Construction Academy, uh, something they've had on their radar for a while. We, look, we, we, we think it's going to be able to get done this year, but we're going to be pushing for that. Uh, and we're also going to be pushing for the completion of the new student center over at Darton College. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, they've, uh, they've already started the process, but they need uh, a little bit of assistance to be able to complete it. Okay. And so those are some of the things. We've got a couple of items uh, as well. Um, you know, many of many people have probably heard about the uh, a term called the Flint River Drought Protection Act. Mm -hmm. It's a water resource policy that's been coming down from the uh, the, the state for about a year now. Uh, we're addressing it. We have not taken any particular stance. Our main concern is is we want the best possible water po resource policies that provide the the best outcome when it comes to economic development and, and agribusiness for Southwest Georgia. Mm -hmm. That's what we want. Uh, we're still going to be analyzing the the bill as it gets onto the floor for a vote, uh, and then once it once it gets to the floor and we know exactly how the bill reads, then we're going to take a, a particular position whether to support that legislation or oppose it. Okay, we're going to be back in just a moment with more Chamber of Commerce. On over to Sasha. She's going to tell us about how to save some money this morning. Sasha? We are back with Chris Hardy, the president of the Albany Area Chamber of Commerce, and we've been talking about their plans for this year and the legislative agenda. But right now we're talking about their annual meeting, a traditional kind of dinner that you have every yeah, year. Yeah, it's, uh, it's our signature event that we do every year. Um, 
basically it's a, an opportunity for us to recognize our really it's a kind of a celebration of our volunteers mm -hmm. you know it really if you if you look at it uh, you know we uh, do the initiation of our um, uh, incoming chairman of the board who is Jim Dill with uh, Albany Communications uh, he's actually been the chair for about uh, 14 days now I guess or 13 days if you don't count New Year's um, <laughs> We also recognize outgoing board members who uh, completed their three years of service last year. Uh, we recognize just basically the, uh, the, the, the chairs of our divisions and committees that we have uh, within the chamber. Uh, we also uh, do our presentations of the Lifetime Service Award, an award that we've been giving out for a few years now. Um, we also recognize the Nonprofit of the Year and the Ambassador of the Year. Uh, but also we have a, a dynamic keynote speaker similar to what we had last year, um, a gentleman by the name of Bill Graham with Graham Communications. Uh, he's actually the, uh, the, the production manager for Procter & Gamble, which you know, a lot of people don't know that Procter & Gamble is the, uh, the, the managing company of uh, soap operas like uh, Guiding Light, As the World Turns, That's really uh, General neat. Hospital, uh, those type of soap operas. And his team uh, for five years in a row won an Emmy. Uh, for screenwriting for those soap wow. operas. So he's an uh, extremely effective communicator, um, but and that's what he talks about is communication, mm -hmm. how to effectively communicate, how to effectively negotiate, uh, you know, how to, uh, just basically things that business people need to know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some of these things may be overlooked, um, but, uh, or taken for granted, mm -hmm. uh, but that's one of his, uh, gonna be his primary presentation. Uh, he's an extremely funny guy. Um, you know, he does uh, speaking engagements to chambers of commerce mm -hmm. all across the country. He's actually a, a, a faculty advisor for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce's Institute for Organizational Management. Uh, I've gone through that myself. Uh, we've got two staff, uh, two people on our staff now that are going through it. Uh, so, you know, we're, it's, you know, like last year, we're, you know, it's something we're, we're really looking forward to. Uh, we're already way ahead of uh, registrations that, okay. uh, from this point in time we were last year, so that's always good. Uh, we've got a, uh, a great list of uh, corporate sponsors that are, that are supporting this event, so it's going to be held January 23rd uh, at the Hilton Garden Inn. Uh, we're going to have a, an hour worth of networking starting at 5.30, just giving everybody an opportunity to kind of come together and, and, uh, you know, and talk about the year and uh, you know, kind of continue relationships that they've had for quite some time. Right. Then we'll begin the program around 6.30. Very good. Well, if you would like more information about how to attend the annual meeting with the Albany Area Chamber of Commerce, you can contact the Chamber of Commerce. And thank you again, Chris, for being on this morning. Thank you. On over to Sasha.